you want to create websites like these, then stick around because this video is going to show you exactly how to do this. You have all of the functions you would possibly want, 3D animations, you have some live action interactive animations that will actually give your users um, some info. You have 3D animations, you have some games you can play in this, you have terminals, you can actually even type and they will respond to you so they are fully functional without any outside apps like you you don't have to use voice flow you don't have to use the vapi all in bold with simple prompts so we have a fully functional calculator for our prices then we have some case simulations like neurogaming adaptive learning mindful productivity all of this is interactive for the user like crazy uh then we have some 3d model showcase we can have some stats here that will you know everything is functional we have our team, which if we wanted to, we would of course uh, add our own pictures and our own uh, information. We have contact us, so Shafik, so like, like this. And because we didn't consent or didn't fill it out all completely, it of course won't work. And we have some mind code playground, uh, which is like a code that we can then run, literally like Visual Studio code in your website and some information that is uh, needed to have, of course, and yeah, so this is the website, it's really crazy. And now let's actually move into building it and adding all of these functions. Okay guys, so let's move straight into building the website. So here you have Bolt. Uh, you can find Bolt when you type bolt.new and you just log in through your Gmail or any account. And you can use Bolt for free, but there is a token system that, uh, let me show you. Uh, the Pro is 10 million tokens and I am on Pro. Pro 50 uh, because I use it a lot and it's just $50 a month but if you genuinely want to just try this out you can <clears throat> you can have like 100k tokens a day for free uh, it's not it's not like to build it's not enough to build a good website but it's enough to try it you know so then I would advise you to start with pro and move your way up it depends on how much you want to build and it's on a monthly basis of course so uh, if we go back, here is uh, the screen that you will always start on. Here you place your first prompt. It's super simple. You just generate a prompt with ChatGTP, or you can you know say something here like build uh, me a landing page for X Y Z whatever, and then you just click here the enhance prompt and it will you know act as a enhancer for your prompt. So I'm gonna paste my my prompt for an AI agency. And now it's going to first say what it is going to do. So it's now thinking, and then it's going to code on its own. This is the most powerful uh, thing. I know there is a lot of new systems like Lovable and stuff, which we can cover also, but I genuinely use Bolt. Bolt.new is just the best option for me. And let me show you exactly why. So now it's thinking, now it's done thinking, and now it's actually doing all of the coding. We, we, we don't have to do anything. What we can do though, is we can change the code on our, like on our own, right? We can click here and rewrite anything we, we want. Yeah, now we can just look at what the bot is doing. We can read through what it's going to do, the, the design elements and everything. And we just wait, even though bot, of course it makes some mistakes sometimes. So. I'm not sure if it's going to be the best website ever just with this one prompt, but it's really powerful. Okay, so before it actually makes the whole website, it takes uh, five minutes max uh, because I have a really advanced prompt. It You know, you can see all of these uh, functions it creates, but uh, before it's done, uh, you can definitely sell these websites. Like they are 100% uh, functional and they can be val valued at 10K plus especially when we're going to add the 3D animations, especially when you have the payment methods there, everything. I have myself built a whole e-com website for my mother. She has a clothing shop and it's a 5K, 5K, 10K website. Like literally, uh, if, if my mother wanted to do it by some company, it would cost a lot of money. And I just did it on my own with zero experience. I just learned it. You can do anything with AI and if you want to start like a business or something with selling websites to gyms or to anything or even potentially apps because you can build even apps with Bolt, but that's really like, it's complex, more uh, difficult to do, of course, than websites, but you, you can do whatever you want with AI. So don't limit yourself and yeah, let's see 
how this website turns out. You can see a lot of functions, but I believe it's going to be amazing. It's going to be really amazing. And yeah, if you know, if you know code, then it's definitely a bonus, but you don't have to. You, you can be literally just writing prompts. You can then go to GPT and say, okay, I don't understand anything. Even though I would definitely advise you to use uh, Claude because Claude is literally the best for coding. Like you cannot have any better AI than Claude for coding. Of course, for the gen for the uh, general stuff, like make me an image and that, that's of course GPT, but Claude definitely for coding and for explaining what is happening there and just basically learning it is Claude is the best. So check it out and yeah. We will see how this website turns out. I'm really excited. Okay, sweet. So we received an error. And how do you fix this? It's bold. So it's really simple. You just do attempt fix, discuss problem or ignore. Of course, you don't want to ignore because you can see the website is not working. So let's do attempt fix and bold is trying to resolve the problem. It's totally normal. Sometimes it just happens. Uh, errors and problems. problems. And sometimes you really need to hammer bold. Like to just say no, it's still... For example, when we will add the three animations, sometimes it will just say it added, but it is not visible, for example. So you just say, no, it's not visible, fix it, do it, and it will do. Always. Like, I never had a problem. And now we will see if the problem is still there. Boom. It's not. Simple as that. And now we can see the website. It looks beautiful already. So, and mind, it's just two prompts. It's just two prompts. I mean, only one and then attempt fix. So, okay, we're going to go here to full screen. And now the magic is gonna happen. Like I'm genuinely excited. Okay, boom, narrow pulse. We got a loading screen. We got like movement. Okay. Uh, experience the new evolution in human computer interaction with our cutting edge neural interface technology. Okay. And I need to charge my Mac because okay, it's really bad. I need to charge my Mac. Okay, we can we can continue now. So scroll to explore. Boom, and you can see all of these beautiful, already animations, you know, just with one prompt. So we can go focus, you know, creative. Oh my God, this is genuinely crazy how uh, interactive it is. We also have light mode, which is crazy. And what is this? Say how. Welcome to NeuroPost. Neuro, I was ready to explore. Hello. Uh, what is this? Hello. Okay, it doesn't work. It doesn't def it, it, it doesn't work, but it's a it's like an idea. You know, Bolt gave us an idea. We can definitely make this work with Vapi or with other, you know, with other stuff. Okay, so let's properly work through this app or through this website that we actually created with just one prompt. Uh, okay, so we have some as I already showed all of this, and then we have the three D animation which I added with uh, Spline. Uh, it will be shown later in this video because I have some uh, problems with uh, recording of the screen. Okay, so then we have mind painting, painting that is basically like a neural art creation, which if you, okay, if you go slower, it will showcase that you're more neurally active, I believe. So yeah, it's, it's just like little games that you can have, but the important part is that it's actually functional you know then you have voice terminal which is a fully functional terminal i already showed you in the intro if you do help you have all of these commands that you can use so let's do status boom system status neural engine online signal strength 97 so it's just to showcase what all functions it has then we have this pricing lab which is super important because the users or the customers can actually choose uh their you know, preferences, and then it will automatically calculate the price that they will be paying you. Of course, this all is just random numbers right now, but pretty sweet. Then we have case simulations. So we have some neural gaming. We can start a game and we can actually play. Then we have adaptive learning, which is some, some cards we can switch to. Pretty sweet. Also, like, this is not your normal web, to be honest. And here we have like a breathing exercise and it's all linked to neural uh, neural and computer science, let's say. We have some 3D model showcase. Again, everything is functional, everything you can read through. 
pretty crazy. Then we have our team, which is some just just random people, random uh, information. But if you were to actually give it the information, it would and pictures, it would create your team. And then we have the contact us info uh, that people can just you know submit. And if they don't submit everything or click this, then it will be working as your usual website. Then we have mind code playground, which we can actually write some code on our on our like own. We can even run the code unexpected. You know, it's it's basically like a working terminal. Pretty crazy, and some again some uh, connect with us on Twitter, LinkedIn, and everything. So it's it's a fully fully functional web that has even a chat for the users. Of course, it's not working right now. It's not live. But uh, you would have to play with it a little bit because some of these functions are uh, in need of APIs and all of that. But to be honest, just with one prompt, I think you see the power of AI right now. So yeah, this is the this is the website. Uh, I will leave the link in the bio. And now let's move into adding the three D animation. So now let's actually move into the 3D animations. So how you do it is you go to Spline uh, and you, of course, uh, again, uh, log in with Google or create an account with Google. And then you will navigate through community and you will search, for example, AI. I've already found something, this animation, but maybe we will, we will try. Okay, why not? Yeah, like, why not? Uh, then you click the animation you like and what you do is you hit this export and you go to viewer and once this is loaded you just go copy embed boom we copy to clipboard and we just go we copy the, the embed we copy it to our clipboard we go back to bold and now we will say here is the embed. Boom, we copy it. Okay, no, like this. Copy it. And let's let do bold its thing. Uh, if we didn't have bold, we would have to do really complex. I mean, we would have to do all the code on ourselves. And to do a website like this, it would take weeks, really weeks coding. And one person would probably not be able to do it. So really, really useful tool. And what you would you do is you would probably say, okay, fix the buttons, blah, 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 blah. And just, you know, little details like that. But now I showed you the biggest, probably biggest uh, things you can do with Bolt and truly mind blowing. And yeah, let me know what you would want to see next. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment, leave a like and see you in the next one. Bye bye.